Hi everybody, this is Nikki, and I'm here to do a video that's personal experience, no medical advice whatsoever. It's, it's a video, hopefully a quick one, on basal IQ versus control IQ. And it's got no numbers whatsoever. I'm just trying to think out loud. Um, the reason I'm thinking out loud is because my Medtronic warranty comes up, uh, comes to an end here in the next few weeks. I've already gotten a call from Tandem. I finally, I couldn't believe how long it took them, but I finally got a call from Medtronic the other day uh, letting me know about the 770G. And so I've got a big choice coming up. Um, I mean, I've got a new pump to choose, and that is a big choice. And then somebody in my group today posted a question about what did people recommend, basal IQ or control IQ, if you're going to tandem. I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to tandem, but I am about 99% sure. Um, I am still entertaining the thought, the idea of maybe trying out the 770G and seeing if I could just go back in and do their upgrade program again, you know, so I could try out the 770G and then the 780G. Um, I'm even considering Omnipod. I just recently finished their Omnipod study. Um, I can't say anything about it, but I can say that that experience has helped kind of strengthen and confirm some of my thoughts on algorithms. And I'm leaving the Omnipod open right now as a possibility, um, but I am pretty sure that the T-Slim X2 is the one that I'd like to go to. And what I'm not sure of right now is whether or not Basal IQ or Control IQ is where I want to be. Um, so it was a good question today, and it and it's got a lot of I have a lot on my mind. So there's a couple of things I wanted to uh, talk about. Um, basal IQ. So first of all, if you don't know. Uh, the T-Slim X2 is not like the 670G. You don't have the option to go in and out of basal IQ and control IQ. You can't just turn one on and turn it off. It's not like auto mode and manual mode. It's a shame. I hope they change that. Um, and maybe at some point, you know, they mentioned it, but then they also didn't mention it at this last, you know, this last group of updates or whatever. Um, so it would be nice if they did it, but it's not available right now. And I don't know if it'll ever be available. Um, the other important thing is that they only allow you to upgrade in one direction, so you can only go up. So if you start with Basal IQ, you can move up to Control IQ. It should be a free upgrade, I believe, uh, or update. But if you start with Control IQ, you cannot go down to Basal IQ. So this is a very important thing to know because this, unlike with the 670G, where there were different ways to use your pump, that's not the case here, and really you have to make a commitment. Uh, there's obviously the option just to turn it all off and just kind of do dumb pumping, which is what we call it on, <laughs> on Medtronic, but um, that's always an option. But if you're looking to use one of these things, you really have to kind of know which way you want to go because you're stuck with that until the next thing that comes down the pike. Um, so, and I think that there, okay, I'll say this too. I've, I've worn Basal IQ probably for about three months is my guess. I did tons of observations. I did a lot of, you know, and I have binders that I'm hoping to get into to start pulling up numbers. Um, but I have that experience. I loved Basal IQ. And I mean, I loved it. And I loved it because I was coming off of the 670G with the manual mode suspends which were, t for me, very rigid and caused a lot of hyperglycemia. And so when I, when I went into basal IQ and I saw how, um, how flexible and how relevant the suspends were to my current blood sugar needs, I mean, I just fell in love. It, it, it was brilliant. And there was still that predictability that I got in manual mode on the 670G, which is not necessarily true, I don't think, of any of these algorith al algorithms. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people go from auto mode back to manual mode because you just want to know what, what to expect. You know, if I, if I decide to do a temp basal, then I can expect that my blood sugar is going to rise in an hour. You know, um, the pump isn't doing stuff behind the, 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 the curtains, the curtains. Um, so basal IQ is much like manual modes with suspends, only in my opinion, much better um, it, there is no automated delivery part to it at all, so it never adjusts the basal. 
It never gives a surprise bolus. It never does anything you don't know it's doing. Um, and then those suspends are very predictable and I think very sharp. Um, whereas, I can't think, I can't, now I don't know what I was saying, but I, whereas Control IQ is like auto mode on the 670G only much better in my opinion. Um, and it's just got a lot more potential. I say this because part of me says I want to go with Control IQ because when I did go into Control IQ, the first thing I had to learn was to let it do its thing. I hate even saying that because that's what Medtronic used to say all the time. Well, the difference was I tried to do it with Medtronic and the 670G, you know, wanted to kill me. That's what I used to say. <laughs> that's the way it felt. It felt like auto mode wanted to kill me. So I, you know, when, so when the first thing I heard when somebody said, let Control IQ do its thing, I remember going, oh yeah, no, I don't think so. And I started to override everything. And I did find that in overriding everything, overriding all my boluses, you know, it, it recommended two units, me going, no, 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 I know, I need three and a half. Um, those things weren't working out very well and it was causing a roller coaster. And so I decided I'm just gonna let it do its thing and see what it wants to do and then kind of go from there. And I was really surprised to see how good of an algorithm it was. It's not the same thing as auto mode. Um, so potential, just its potential, it's, it's got a lot of potential in it. However, and I keep going back to that predictability thing, um, there is not a lot of predictability in it either. And that's because that's what these algorithms do. And you can sit and try to figure out all the stuff they're doing, but you need a calculator. Um, you need to not have you know, children who are hungry and you need to not be able to get out the door for things because you have to be looking at all these, um, you know, the delivery here and whether or not it's sensing a rise in your blood sugar, whether or not it's going to give you a big bolus when you were thinking about going out for a run and so you weren't going to do any insulin. I sound like I'm complaining, um, and I'm not trying to do that, but I'm saying that algorithms in general bring a level of unpredictability, um, and it's just because that's what they do. They're, they're there to be doing the legwork so that you don't have to, but it also means that you're never quite sure what to expect. Um, so I think Control IQ is great. This is my way of coming all the way back around and saying I think that what I need in my life right now is predictability. <laughs> and probably also to lay off the brownies. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a true story. But, but anyway, um, I think I need some predictability. And so as much as I love Control IQ, and I really do, I did not do a good job of this because um, I have a feeling that what I did was just whine about Control IQ. I really enjoy Control IQ. And I will say that the difference, the reason I know it, is because when I was in auto mode and I let it do its thing and I was trying so hard and all these things, I remember feeling like I have to be out. Like I've got to get out of this thing. It's going to kill me. And I in control IQ, no matter where I was with things, I was cool with just being in control IQ. Um, so that's a really blanket statement, but that means that in general, I was able to work with, with what it was doing. And I do, um, believe that that's probably because you have more control and control like you with auto mode there was not a whole lot you could do other than ghost carbs and lie to your pump and whatever else that's not true in control like you so i think that that's probably the difference and that is because if this if it was recommending a correction bolus of 0.5 and i know you know that i i needed whatever i could just add two units to it and have it continue to keep track of that and calculate it and everything else. So I think that um, I think that's probably why I like Control IQ more. A lot of reasons why, but it is still another algorithm, and there's still less predictability. And this is what happens when I try to do a video. I don't plan. I can't remember what I said nine minutes ago, so, <laughs> so I don't know where I am now. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So that's it. Um, I think I am going to Basil IQ when I make the call into tandem to let them know that I'm ready to, you know, ready to make the, the move permanently. And I think we're going to Basil IQ. And that's not because I don't love Control IQ. I would like to be there again. I just think right now with the mess that I am, 
um, it would be more helpful for me to have something predictable um, so I can get back on track and then go from there. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.